Hey, welcome to today's video. I hope you are well. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and press that bell button. We're going to talk about Nano today. Nano payment, it's pretty damn fast. I want to cover it because it's pretty awesome. So let's get started. Hey, welcome and good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Digital currencies are getting faster and faster and I want to talk about that today. But before we get going, I have a pretty exclusive offer on my channel. 0.25 I want to give away, I think, just to make it more interesting. So if you want 0.25 Ethereum, okay, you've got to like this video, put a genuine comment and in the following video, if we hit 500 likes within a week, I will do a random draw. So there you go. If, however, I have some nano at the time, I may give out some of that due to the relation of the video. Now, digital currencies, they're awesome, but they're also very sluggish. Bitcoin slow, Litecoin reality quite slow, Ethereum sluggish and unscalable. You've got other coins like Verge that have a bit of issues with press and FUD. But there's some other good coins out there. Nano is a one that I see as one of the main ones for speed. It's pretty fast. It's got, you know, good elements to it. So we're going to talk about it. So here we go. Digital currencies for real world. The fast and easy way to pay for everything in life. That is catchy and also very, very bold statement. So we're going to talk about that. Instant transactions, zero fees and infinity scalable. So it can carry on. So... Big problems we've got with payments on cryptocurrencies and all that kind of solutions that we've got with them. Payments are slow, very slow. Bitcoin is slow, it's a store of value. Then you've got other utility tokens to use the utility of the blockchain. They're not really payments at all, they're totally different. Then you've got other coins such as privacy coins. And, you know, yeah. yeah, you just got coins for sake of coins. So you've got to look at what is genuinely useful. I said yesterday in my Ripple video, and I said in the Verge video as well, a lot of tokens will die because they've got no usage and no one's using the blockchains. They're just there for the tokenized sale version of it. But the likes of Railblocks, or Nano is what it is known as now, came from a different route. And they are all about payment, and they're really stupidly fast. So I want to talk about this because something happened over the last few days. And basically... You look at this here, this was old news. They were doing transactions back in February faster than anything going at the time. Really fast, under two seconds. They've now got that lower. 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 is the average up to 1.3 seconds for a transaction to go boom, boom, off it goes. That's scary fast. Considering Bitcoin's 10 minutes, considering Litecoin's 2 minutes, XRP's about 15 seconds, Ethereum's whenever people are using the network in reality, we know that. But fundamentals are it's fast, it's easy, and it's quick. Super quick. I know I'm saying fast, but quick is fast. It's stupidly fast compared to where we've been in the past. So let's have a little look at a few little things. Now, why is it so fast? It uses something a bit different compared to mining. It uses a thing called Block Lattice. It's basically each account has its own blockchain. It kind of allows it not to bottleneck. It allows it not to crash and freeze and think about it for any sort of length of time, which is really, really good for any sort of transaction. We look at Visa and we look at the 70,000 transactions it can do per second, and it's relatively fast. You don't really get, you know, it's a couple of seconds. But this is going to be faster. This is going to be cheaper than the likes of Visa. So it's pretty key that this takes off if cryptocurrency as a payment solution will take over from the likes of Visa, MasterCard, etc. So with this, it allows a very, very fast transaction with zero fees and no issues for bottlenecks stopping any sort of works. We all know what happens when Visa goes down. It's an app. When the blockchain goes down, you never really see it because it doesn't happen. But you do see clogging. You do see it go a bit slower than usual, the likes of Bitcoin. We know that. So Nano has a solution to stop that issue. So it's basically going to work at whatever rate that's thrown through it very, very fast with zero fees. 
Hmm. Interesting. So, it's pretty cool. Now, I am a big fan of Nano. I don't actually hold it, though. I'm waiting to see what happens longer term. I think as any sort of investment, this is longer term. But I think Nano, personal opinion, is more of a use case. For me to go and use cryptocurrency, I would rather use a fast cryptocurrency that is liquid, that has no scalable issues, and Nano fits that bill. When you look at the likes of XRP, it doesn't really fit that bill because it hasn't got that element of speed and probably adoption at the time. I think Nano as a use case would be better than most. Litecoin is a good option for moving money into exchanges because it's fast. Same with Verge, it's a really good one. But the reality is, I think Nano is going to be more attractive longer term to shops and people using it than the likes of Verge, the likes of XRP, because XRP will probably be used for banks, than obviously the likes of Bitcoin and Litecoin, unless something radical happened with Bitcoin and Litecoin in terms of the Lightning Network. And that is still up in the air. So it's really good. And I want to show you some things about Nano in terms of speed, because you can actually do a speed test online and to see how it works. Now, in other general speak about Nano very, very quickly, the supply isn't massive which is very, very key. The price in reality, I think, is very, very low compared to where it's been in the past. Yes, guys, it's been up there. I would definitely check at looking at Nano longer term if you're looking at an investment opportunity, if it gets to scalable usage. So it's cool. The biggest problem we've got with it is it's not there yet. You know, it's it's like all cryptocurrencies, not quite there yet, but it has potential. So if you are looking at this as an investor, do your research. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just putting this out there. What is Nano? And this is it. It's just a fast, stupidly fast, scalable solution for payments. That's it. Simple. And it has been at some really, really high height in that bull market. I think this will go up again long term. It won't be just pop overnight. But longer term, I see this undervalued. $1.20. I think this is very undervalued considering this could get a lot of usage over a period of time if and when stores use this, people use this as a method of payment. So that's it. I'm not going to talk too much about technical terms on it. I'm going to go through some factual videos later on. But let's do this. Now, this is a one I did previously. You can see the speed. How fast is that, guys? For you to put your PIN number into a coin, um, into a coin, into a card reader, and for you to press yes, it's faster than that in reality. By the time it says to come authorizing, PIN OK, remove card, it's fast. Let's do it again, because it's fun. And it varies. But on average, it's below a second fast you can see the results there it's stupidly fast I mean anything under five seconds in reality terms is pretty quick anyways in reality when you consider some of them a minutes so that is it for Nano that is today's video done with quick and easy so I hope you enjoyed this one if you are new to the channel obviously subscribe check out my related videos and other cool stuff this is a very very brief introduction into what Nano is I will do further on videos about it using it facts about it all that good stuff so yeah, stay tuned for those ones.